السلام عليكم سيسا السلام عليكم طيب هاو ار يو ان شاء الله I'm very well thank you how are you Alhamdulillah I'm well thank you very much Alhamdulillah Yes uh, thank you for joining me sister uh, uh, for this uh, great debate uh, or <laughs> dialogue <laughs> I think it's a dialogue. <laughs> yes, a dialogue. Yes, exactly. So, um, because I think we are uh, very much, you know, uh, I mean, in the same line. Yeah. And uh, so, please uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, and I will tell uh, about myself how, because I'm, I'm born in, uh, in a Muslim family, but um, I became atheist when I was 25. Wow. Became, yes, and then... Uh, after yeah, my, maybe 10 years, I started to realize uh, that I was wrong, yeah. So I slowly, slowly, I figured out that uh, uh, Islam is the final message of God and uh, mm -hmm. Islam is the way out of uh, all problems we are facing on this planet. So I converted to Islam. Uh, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, yes. great story, great yes. story. Thank you. Yeah. So how about you, sister? Uh, well, um... I have been a Muslim for just over three years. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, that's very I good. was an atheist. I, um, although, um, I think in my heart, I think we have this kind of homing device. I've been talking about, like, I feel like it's a homing device. Yes. Even though I, I think what it was, it wasn't really an atheist. I wasn't really an atheist. I think I just couldn't kind of comprehend the whole concept yes. of... God or of Allah as we know yes. mm -hmm. and Islam has, has, has allowed that to develop that understanding right. and um, so uh, I, I mean I had a very kind of um, difficult well it's I mean it's not like it's not that tragic but I think everybody's story is a little bit tragic you know I went through some we say dark times yes and that sort of pushed me into moving out of the UK and to the Middle East alhamdulillah mm -hmm. why, why did Allah choose you know, a Muslim country for me. Yeah, which country were you were? I was in Qatar. Qatar, yeah. Okay, I was in Dubai actually. Yes, I've been to uh, Dubai, of course. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, seven years in Dubai. Ah, I was seven years in Qatar. Qatar, yeah. I've yes. Been, yes, I've been to Qatar um, twice, I think. Yeah. Yeah, not much there. No, just two <laughs> days. <laughs> yeah, I like Dubai more, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I travelled to Oman for a ah. short while. Okay. And then I uh, came back to, to the UK. Uh, I had a very, uh, a bit of a bump, landed back with a bump. There was another kind of trial that I went through. Yeah. And, um, and then I found myself, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. I was in Cairo. I've just come back from Cairo. So I had two years in Cairo. And uh, subhanAllah, what a beautiful place and beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful people. The sisters are, are just yeah. incredible. So they've okay. looked after me really in these last few years. They mm -hmm. kind of, gathered me and put me under their wing and yeah, very you know, nice. just beautiful yeah. so now I'm back in the UK mm -hmm. and that's me I think um, right. you know never, never say never but uh, I, I married now I'm married so my yes. husband oh, is no. as a as a traveler as I am so okay. I think probably I'll be I'll be staying here now for a little while yeah, <laughs> <Starla>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, I, I would like to say a little bit about that why I chose Islam because <clears throat> I realized that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent us um, prophets to solve our problems. Uh -huh. You know, we had a lot of problems in the past. So he tried to solve them and give us rules, you know, that no, this is not right. This is right. This is bad. This is good. You know, like this. And <clears throat> like, uh, yeah, for example, uh, maybe I can say that uh, uh, there are a lot of things I can say, but like, like uh, Moses peace be upon him, uh, saved uh, all those slaves, you know, and uh, taught them good uh, rules, you know, don't kill, don't uh, steal, and all these things. But uh, <clears throat> and Islam uh, solved many more problems. You know, uh, many times these uh, Islamophobics, they attack Islam for uh, discriminating women, but uh, the, the reality is that uh, just even 100 years ago in Sweden, women didn't inherit, you know, in Sweden, 100 years ago. 
But yeah. 1400 years ago, women got the right to inherit. Okay, it was 50%, but it was a lot that time. Yeah. Nowhere on this planet, women had such a right at all. Nowhere. Yeah, yeah. You know? And many places, women are absolutely equal in, in Islam. Yeah. Um, you know, punishment and uh, uh, reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's always Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that you are equal, okay? Mm. Mm. Mention it many places, men and women, you know, uh, you get the equal, you know, uh, rewards and for doing good deeds, you go to heaven and also mm -mm, the, uh, mm -mm. Uh, all these things. Just few places, um, um, it was too early. Uh, so Islam came to solve our problems. Uh, I mean, Allah SWT sent us prophets and to solve our problems. And uh, unfortunately, I have uh, seen that, uh, you know, in reality, I have to say like this, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't want to solve our problems just 20% or 10%. He wanted to solve our problems 100%, mm. 100%. So he sent the message, the final message with Islam, which solved our problems 100%. But unfortunately, no one has realized that, that what is that message? And many, many, uh, you know, because uh, these uh, scholars of Islam, okay, mm -hmm. unfortunately, you know, it's not just uh, in Islam, it's all religion. You know, many of them, they are businessmen and they use religion, you know, for, for living, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, not all of them, but majority of them, or some of them, they, they just uh, read the Quran and they are sitting in uh, Saudi Arabia, for example, in a city or village, they have never moved from there and they give fatwa for people who are living in the West, for example, you know? Mm. And they haven't seen anything, they just know Quran. For me to know uh, the final message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have to know politics, you have to know uh, economy, you have to know many things to know that how Islam is going to solve our problems. Because our problems, all of them are economic problems. You know, yeah. the source is economy. Yes. When you steal, when you know, uh, when uh, <clears throat> farmers of Afghanistan they produce uh, ninety percent of the world opium, it is, it has to do with uh, economy, because yeah. they need to sell drugs to yes. survive. Mm -hmm. Because nobody buy them uh, from them uh, these tomatoes and potatoes. Anyway, uh, that's a, a deep discussion. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we inshallah do uh, do it uh, maybe another time. Okay. Not okay. Yeah, definitely. Yes. But what yeah. is the what is the the source of all our problems, and uh, you know uh, how how Islam is going to solve all of these? So I uh, converted to Islam because uh, because I realized that Islam has the solution to all of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, Muslims because of their uh, you know their <clears throat> scholars who uh, didn't know anything or didn't care, they just uh, care about uh, their, you know, their job. Mm. Uh, they, they took it as a job, uh, you know. And uh, uh, there are many of them, uh, for example, in, in Iran, I'm originally Iranian, by the way, and uh, I'm 33 years, I'm in Sweden, living in Sweden. Uh, <clears throat> these uh, clerics, when they got the power, they start to destroy the country, you know, uh, they just rob people, okay? They don't, we realize that they really don't believe in anything, okay? Not all of them, as I said, but few percent are, are okay, but most of them are not uh, like that. So uh, regarding this uh, Christmas uh, uh, thing that uh, I have seen that many every year, uh, I saw, for example, now this uh, Dr. Bilal, Philip, I don't know if you know him or not. He's a scholar yeah. from Jamaica, okay? Yeah. And he's quite uh, extremist as well, unfortunately. I have been uh, discussing with his followers that he's very, very, uh, you know, because uh, once I asked him that, what is the sentence for apostates? He sent me uh, the email with the, you know, uh, hadith from Bukhari, that uh, yes. anyone who leave uh, religion, kill him. And I wrote him that, uh, Alhamdulillah, I wasn't judged by you and your followers. <laughs> and I got the time 
and uh, the, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me the time so that I research, I learn, and I convert to Islam, and I do da'wah now, okay? I invite people to Islam. Alhamdulillah, I wasn't judged by you. He blocked me. He didn't say that, sorry, I was wrong, okay? Wow. Sorry, this is wrong, you know? We don't have to, because people make mistakes, you know? Yes, of course. Yes. I, I had, a, I had a debate with another one, actually, uh, Friday night, okay? He's very, very extremist person. He's in London. His name is Sheikh ha Hatam, Haitam, something like that. Haitam, yes, Sheikh Haitam, you know. And I was saying, uh, because this, there are several hadiths, many hadiths by Bukhari and Muslim who are fabricated, okay? And I showed him, I said that this hadith is fabricated. He's saying that, you know, uh, a verse of Quran is missing. It's about the, the, the stoning adulterer, okay? It's written that the, the verse came down, but it's not in Quran. And later, um, I don't know if you have seen that that verse or not. But he was saying that no, it is not like that. You have to go and learn Arabic, but it is written there, and the people have translated correctly to English. Okay, I don't need to go and learn Arabic because I want to read Quran. Quran is okay, maybe a slightly different, but not very much different. They don't change change it totally. And he was saying that you know those who are stoned to death. They come themselves and ask to be stoned to death. I said, I was thinking, such a person must be absolutely, uh, you know, uh, how do you say, uh, crazy to yeah. come and say, please stone me to death. So yeah, you, have exactly. to, you have to take them to, to some uh, psychiatrist, not, not yeah. to stone them to death. He said that in this faith, they want to be purified and go to heaven. I said, so it's a good way. I, I do whatever I want, and then later I go and rape somebody, and then come to you and say that, okay, stone me to death. It's just take maybe a few minutes, and then I die, I go to heaven. <laughs> you know? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> exactly. I mean, the, <laughs> you have to say things that make sense, okay? So these, uh, such a, uh, you know, uneducated people, they say they are, they are scholars, and they say that, no, it is haram to say Merry Christmas to somebody. I'm working here. I have... Uh, you know, people uh, at my work. And Very hard, yeah. I have to say to them, Merry Christmas, you know. I cannot discuss with them and say, oh, you know what, I, I cannot say because I don't, they are, most of them are atheists. Yes. Here in Sweden, most of them are atheists, yes. but they yes. ce celebrate it as a tradition, okay. Uh, my wife is born Christian, but of, of course, Alhamdulillah, she's not, but anyway, she is her, you see, uh, the Christmas tree behind me, okay? Yeah. It, is, it is a tradition for her. And she loves to do that. She, you know, uh, you cannot forbid her for something. It is just, uh, you know, something nice. That's all. It's not yeah. a belief, okay? Yeah. And, uh, and for example, as Iranian, we had a, another religion uh, 3,000 years ago before Islam, okay? Still, after 1,400 years that Iranian are Muslim, we have our old traditions as well. Uh, our New Year is not uh, this time, actually. Our New Year is 21st of March, mm. you know, when uh, the night and day are exactly the same length, and yeah. then they start to get longer. That time is our New Year, okay, because spring starts. Yeah. That's a new uh, day. We call it New Day. And in the past, we used to, you know, uh, jump over fire, mm -hmm. jump over fire and say that uh, my sickness to you, your health to me, you know, something like this. People continue to do it today, Steve. And mm -hmm. we have uh, some uh, table as well, which is tradition. It's not that people believe in that old religion anymore, okay? Mm -hmm. It is just a tradition and, uh, you know, make us happy, that's all. So you don't have to stop people from following their tradition. Uh, Islam is not about that. Islam is about, as I said, it's about to, you know, to create a better world for people, okay? Yeah. By removing this Christmas tree, nothing will change, okay? Yeah. I think, I think Islam is very simple. I don't yeah. think we need to get complicated and yeah. um, be, I mean, I don't want to diversify Islam because yeah. that is definitely haram. We don't diversify Islam, but yes. we have to allow for diversities yes we have to be peaceful we have to show those around us and i'm only talking about my family whose tradition 
it is to get involved with Christmas. Yes. Um, but I know um, some of the sort of historical bits around Christmas now, the yes. winter solstice. Yes. Um, and how the sort of church has kind of, you know, glitzed it all up. And yes. and made a bit, and I feel it's made a bit of a mockery of our beautiful prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, you know, by sort of dollop him in at the end and saying, oh, you know, he was born at this time. And then, oh, one week later, we can have New Year. You know, this, this is all very convenient. Yes. And um, I didn't know any of this because why would I, why would I question my tradition? Yes. Why, would I, why would I question what I was told from when I was a child and what I told my children? Yes. You know, so um, my family don't want to hear me tell them the stories behind Christmas, mm -hmm. you know, so I, I have to respect that. I have mm -hmm. to let them have their special day. I'm mm -hmm. no, I'm no better. I'm no... I'm, 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 I'm nobody. I'm just me. I'm just yes. on my journey trying to do yes. my little thing, you mm -hmm. know, and I think if we can just try and stay in our lanes <laughs> yes, yes. and just concentrate on our hearts and yes. our deep, yeah. yes. you know, I think it would be a much nicer place. And I'm, yes. as again, I'm not saying, I'm not saying let's diversify Islam because we've got Christianity that's done that. You know, we don't diversify. Mm -hmm. We try and stay on yeah the path that Allah's given us. Yes. But um, I don't think we all need to get too upset and heated about Christmas, especially when there are so many different kind of circumstances to consider, mm -hmm. you know? So... I mean, it, I, I would like to say, sorry, I interrupted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, that uh, when we have a lot of problems on this planet, poverty, Mr. Uh, uh, Cleric, instead of thinking about Christmas, Please tell us how can we get rid of prostitution, drugs? How can we get up, get rid of uh, the problems we are facing in Islamic world? That one is most important, not this Christmas tree or Jesus was born summer or winter. It doesn't change anything in our life like that. Okay, it doesn't give us food. It doesn't give us, you know, uh, work. It doesn't give us, uh, you know, a house, a roof on our head if Jesus, we realize that Jesus was born summer or winter, let them, they, they believe that it, he, it was uh, this time he was born. So it's okay, it uh, doesn't change much in our life, you know, it doesn't change anything. I don't know when uh, Prophet Abraham was, uh, Abraham was born, I don't know that. And it's not so important now. Today, and for example, I was in, uh, with some fellow Muslim, uh, they invited me for some lessons, lessons, you know, and they were saying, do you know that prophet, how many children that prophet had? The prophet, I never even heard of his name, maybe 10,000 years ago. I said that we can talk about something more important, okay? It doesn't change anything in my life that I know how many children that prophet had, okay? I want to know why I have to go to mosque. That's, uh, these things are very important, sister, you know? Mm -hmm. If we had known, if we knew why we are going to the mosque, what is a mosque for? Masjid. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between a masjid and a temple? Mm -hmm. You know, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, I found out all these things, you know. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. Only this, only this could change our life a lot to a better life. Okay? Yeah. All these, yes, please. Uh, no, I, I think, I think, I think the point I want to make about Christmas and, and, and general, Yes. But, it, but it comes at Christmas that we we all become not we I mean those people who wish to celebrate Christmas yes. the, the non-believers mostly I think I'm going to include okay. is how we've just been sucked into a vacuum we've been vacuumized I don't know if that's a word but I think I'm going to use it it's like we've been sucked in and we we now believe this is the truth this yes. is and nobody's thinking. This yes. is this is what I think. This is the problem. Yes. That it's not about whether you put a Christmas tree up, whether you pull a Christmas cracker, whether you have turkey, whether you say Merry Christmas. I think it's are we actually thinking about what society is telling us that we should be doing? Society yes. is putting all the pressure on these people who yes. get into debts mm -hmm. and they can't 
they haven't even paid off last year's Christmas debt. Yes, because, that's crazy. That's not different. Right, right. So because that you know you are led to believe through movies, you know Hollywood and glitz, and you know if you, you're gonna make your house look really pretty, lots of lights, lots of gifts, lots of food, lots of alcohol, new outfit, you know, and it's and it's gonna be the talk of the town, my Christmas. Mm -hmm. And you know the new Christmas table and the new Christmas plates and it goes on and on and on and it's all yeah. about consuming, consuming, yeah. consuming. And then do you know what? You're going to be happy just for that day, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to take it all away from you again because then you're going to see your bank account, and then it's all the realization is coming back. It's this rush. It's this fix. Yes, yes. That society. That's the Satan. That's the satanicness. Yes. Is the society that's that's telling us. This is what you do. This is what you have to do. Yes. And we've just gone along with it with no thought. I did. Yes. I thought, you know, I'm going to make a, oh, it's all about peace and having a special day. Well, in my life, every day is a special day. Every day I wake up and I say, today is going to be a special day. Today yes. is going to be marvelous. You know, alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't have a, a, a glitzy um, anything around me. My, you can see I'm, I'm very basic. Yes. Yes, my name Amanda goes back to basics <laughs> you know <laughs> no. I don't need I don't yeah. need fluff and glitz I have right. it all I have it all here yeah, that's great yeah me too know? actually yes and the rope that Allah's yeah. given us you know yes. and uh -huh. Islam yes that's it yeah exactly it. yeah I think I think we have to be mindful of that I think we have to I think we have to question a lot more yeah, yeah. I think we have to gain the knowledge and that's what Islam that's says it. yes exactly so I, I think we need to broaden it. I think we need to, to wake up, yeah. if, you know, go ahead, do it all. That's fine. But, you know, question. Yeah, question. Exactly. I, I mean, uh, this question, you know, I've been questioning everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for example, the Satan, you said, shut down. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, uh, I've been questioning that um, in reality, uh, I've been talking to um, fellow Muslims and for them it's a little bit, wow. What do you say, you know? Uh, I've been telling them, Shaitan is the system that yes. you were talking about, you know? The capitalist system that yes. tells you, yes. you know, all these things force you. Allah SWT says in the Quran, says that Shaitan spread poverty among you and leads you to prostitution and all bad things. There you go. So he gives us the uh, description of Shaitan, okay? Mm -hmm. That what Shaitan does. Poverty. He's, you know, nobody, I think nobody analyzed this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Shaitan spread poverty among you and then lead you to prostitution and all that. Things. So, I realized that his weapon is poverty. Yes. His weapon is poverty. If he cannot spread poverty among you, he cannot lead you to prostitution and all that. Things. So, on, then I start to think that. 1% of the world population, they own $110 trillion, 50% of the total capital of the planet. Yeah. Hundreds of millions of people living on $1 a day. Yes. Okay? So who is spreading poverty among these hundreds of millions of people? That 1%, okay? Yes. And it doesn't stop there. They create war, they create, you know, uh, they make coup d'etat here, there, you know, in different places. You, I have been uh, involved in politics as well, 40 years. You yeah. cannot imagine what they have done in, uh, to Middle East, okay? Yes. For example, I can tell you that 1953, we had a democratic uh, prime minister, Dr. Masada. UK and USA, they brought him down and put a dictator over to take our oil for free, okay? Or, I mean, cheap, because before that was free, UK was taking it free, and then, Dr. Masader nationalized it and then they brought him down. They were not able to make it again uh, free, but they were taking the oil and selling us weapons uh, because of a dictator in power. Anyway, it is a very long history. So this, uh, this 1% or this system allow people to become so rich, okay? And makes other people poor, okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, this, uh, if uh, this system doesn't exist, then poverty will not exist. So shaitan will not anymore be able to fool people. So on another hand, I start to think about as well that if shaitan is so powerful that he's everywhere on this planet and he can fool anybody, okay? Majority of people are fooled by shaitan, 
Okay. So can I believe that I have to be punished by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because shaitan that is his creature and it's so powerful that I have never hurt him, but yet he can influence me. It's like a government spread coronavirus, for example. Ah. Yeah, here we go. Okay, and then say that if you catch it, I will punish you. What? So we have we have to see that, understand that no, Shaitan is the system. And yeah. He has warned us for yeah. thousands of years ago. And you know, majority of Muslims they don't know why they pray towards Mecca. They think that that's God's house. No. That's the symbol of equality. When we go there. We dress those dress of Ahram. And nobody is rich, nobody is poor there. Okay? Yeah. We are all equal there. Yeah. So we worship him and we say, Ihtanasrat al Mustaqim, show me the right way. Yes. Okay. What is the right way? The right way is what I told you now. Opposite is wrong way. The wrong way is what we are living now today. Yeah. Prostitution, drugs, war, corruption, all bad deeds happen. Okay, so the right way is a way that none of this happens. <clears throat> How none of this will happen if we get rid of the system? Yes. The jungle rules. We are living in a jungle that the strongest one get the most, the weakest one get the least. Okay, mm -hmm. so in this jungle and uh, with the rules, so people have to survive. They, they sell drugs, like I said, the farmers of Afghanistan. If they produce potatoes and tomatoes, they cannot sell it, maybe, okay? Yeah. But if they produce opium, they can sell it oh. hundreds, hundreds of dollars oh, per yes. kilo, okay? Yes. So what drive them to that is the money. Of course. Okay? It's not a power that fool them to do this, you know, and they don't even realize. No, they have to put food on their tables. Mm -mm. If they produce potatoes and tomatoes, nobody buy them. Okay, I know many farmers, they get, go bankrupt because they produce something and then they cannot sell it. You know, I, uh, in, in my country as well, I saw a guy, he had a uh, poor guy, he had uh, produced a lot of bottom, but nobody was buying it. And he was breaking them, crying, saying that, wow. But if he produced opium, he would be able to sell it. So what drive them to this is the money. So money is the shape of, and Shade, uh, the money is the source of this capitalist system that if you don't have it, you have to go and steal. You have to, you know, you have to rob. You have to do, you have to become uh, corrupt, all these things, okay? And yeah. it makes you to want more and more and more. You know, yeah. this uh, Amazon, uh, head of Amazon, uh, what is his name? Anyway, he got so much rich and he's, oh, just, yeah. yeah, this lockdown, he got yeah. Yeah, so many billion dollars more. Yeah. more you know? Yes. So yes. Th this is uh, uh, what um, I was, uh, you know, make me to 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 analyze things, to see, to question. Okay, and then I come to the right conclusion that no, Allah subhanahu wa taala. And then He says, that, He says in Quran that His time will end before Diyama. Okay, you know, Shaitan asking me that give me the time until Diyama so that I fool Him. Allah yes. subhanahu wa taala says that. Okay, you have time, but until a certain time. He doesn't say when, okay? But there is a time between, if we say it, analyze it like this, that between zero to 100, okay? Yes. The, the time they were talking was zero. And Qiyama is 100, if you just imagine this. Yes, yes. So his time finished sometimes between zero to 100. And if you think that his time finished one day before 100, it is a little bit crazy because why he, if he was, was going to take him out, why one day before the Yama? <laughs> Couldn't he take him out if he's the source of all that, is that he make us all these, you know, trouble, uh, problems. So couldn't he take him out 20 years before, or 100 years before? So let's say that he, he's not so, uh, you know, uh, bad and he take him out 100 years before. So 100 years, we will not have Shaitan. And if we still have this system, still people will do bad things because they want food, they want rent, they want, you know, steal, they will sell drugs, they will do all bad things. So who is the problem? The problem is in reality, not that angel, fallen angel. That's just a story. It was told for people of thousands of years ago. Today we are much more intelligent, educated, we can understand. 
that you know for example i give you a great example mm. in my home country iran okay uh, 40 years ago we had every bad deeds happened one dollar was seven to one my father was making average salary five hundred dollars a month he was working alone we could buy a house we could buy a car everything you know was good yeah, yeah. and then after this mullahs came to power they destroyed everything the economy 40 years later one dollar is thirty thousand to one thirty thousand to one average salary is around one hundred dollars 75 percent of people are under poverty line okay so what has happened the crime everything has increased with a thousand times okay mm -hmm. a thousand times everything we have four minimum four million drug users there we have you know hundreds of thousands of persecutors and so on so what happened shaitan became more stronger no a more satanic system came to power you mm -hmm. know so the systems are satan yes These system spread poverty among people much more than the previous one so that's why the crimes went up a thousand times even yeah, more yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so and then look at this sweden sweden is a non-islamic country is mostly atheist country much better satan visit here very seldom <laughs> so what's happening then this is the system is much better here you know, we call it social democracy. It is not pure capitalism and it is not socialism. It's a little bit closer, you know? Yeah. So they take more tax from rich and give it to the poor, okay? Yeah. So crime is much, much less here. So what is it then? It is very obvious. Everybody should understand this is the system. Shaitan is the system, that's all. So if we make it the way Allah Taala said, told us, show me the right way which is there in Mecca happening every year, you know, mm. everybody are equal. Mm. And then there we have to go and reject the opposite of that equality, which was the Satan, he told us before, yeah? He said, Satan spreading poverty among you and lead you to prostitution, all about it. And you see, that's a stone, that's a symbol also. We have to reject that one, okay? Say that, we say that I accept it, okay? Uh, I don't remember the uh, in Arabic, okay? But when we go around, we say, um, uh, I accept it, okay? Uh, I don't remember now, anyway, the, the word in Arabic. But anyway, we say, I accept it, I accept it. And then we go and reject the opposite of that equality. Nobody is rich, nobody is poor. And even, I don't know if you know that, you cannot sue it, because so that nobody sue it differently. You cannot have a different uh, material all has to be uh, cotton material, yeah. all of them, yeah? Right. So that everybody are equal. You cannot use jewelry, you cannot use anything, yeah. okay? Yeah. Uh, for example, put a, a cap uh, on your head or anything. You yeah. just have to be, yeah. all have to be equal. Yeah. So why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us to go there and do this, why? If it, it is not this that is going to solve our problems 100%, okay? Mm then what is that about? That we have to go there and do all this ceremony. It's not just a ceremony, okay? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, as I said, most fellow Muslims have never understood it. They just have done it as a tradition as that their parents have told them, okay? Mm. Yes, uh, maybe you would like to say something, <laughs> sister. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I think you're absolutely right. But I'm just, I'm just thinking, you know, is it like, um, you know, but it's interesting because you're saying about Sweden there where you live. Yes. And that there is this kind of, you know, more of an equality. Yes, exactly. System. Yes. Yet they're an atheist country. But how do they, do they accept, how do they accept the religious people there? I mean, how, how, how is it for Muslims there in Sweden? Yeah, of course. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. okay. Yes, uh, I mean, many people accept, yeah, but there are uh, everywhere, there are races everywhere. Yes. There are, but there are few percent, you know. And it also has to do with economy. Again, it has to do with economy. When the economy gets worse, there are more people who become racist. You know, they think that, okay, the problem is because of the yeah. immigrants, okay? And uh, when the economy is better, so it gets get less. 
So every problem system comes again to the economy, every single problem. But so, do, you think, do you think that um, Sweden could become as an Islamic, as an Islamic country? You know, would, it, would it still run if it was an Islamic country? Would it still be? Uh, I, can, I can tell you like this, that uh, the entire world, this is uh, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ha, has tried to do. The entire world should mm. become, you know, and uh, should become is not by force, definitely, okay? Because if he wanted to force, he said in Quran to Prophet Muhammad that if he wanted to make the Muslim, he would create the Muslim, okay? Mm. So he created us with free will, mm. but he knows that we will develop, okay? We will learn. And one day everybody realized that, okay, the problem is these jungles and the jungle system and we have to get rid of it. If you want to live like human beings, okay? I don't want to live in a world that children, you know, they uh, lose their legs on a landmine, okay? Yeah, I, I can't, sometimes I just can't, and I don't actually, I don't know whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I don't, I don't have a television. Okay. I don't have a radio. Okay. Um, Obviously, I've got a laptop um, and I just choose to see what I want to see. And, and I, I, I sometimes I despair, like I can't listen to the news. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes when I do sort of see things pop up, um, yeah. because my husband's got like a little thing that keeps popping up at the side of the number, yeah. like, oh, I don't want to see it, you know, okay. uh, you know, someone's murdered or body mutilated. I'm like, oh, okay. I, I just can't, you know, and just before yeah. I go to bed, I, I have to have something like, um, I have to watch some kind of nice, cute little, yeah. you know, story about a little animal or something yeah. nice, something nice. <laughs> you know, because I can't cope yes. Yes. with the world yes. and with people. And I really like the way that I live because I live, I do live in a bubble and it, this corona has been wonderful for me because mm -hmm. it's just kind of created a world that I love. I don't mm -hmm. interact too much with people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I can spend more time alone mm -hmm. and, um, you know, but being reflective and in prayer and with Quran and, you know, and I don't feel bothered. I don't feel bothered. You know, I feel like I've got time. I've got more time for people. You know, on social media, I'm doing mm -hmm. lots of social media, um, reaching out and stuff yes. like that. But yeah, I just think the world is is just a, a very wicked, you know, the systems. And it seems to be that, um, you know, every I've just come from Cairo, you know, uh, it, it, and these countries and Qatar, you know, they look towards uh, us like as if we're some kind of God. They mm -hmm. love us, you know, being British. Yeah. Oh, you're British, you know, yes, please mm -hmm. come, come, come. Yes. You know, you're American, come, come, come. You know, you're Canadian, come, come, come. You're yes. Indian, no, we don't want you. Yeah, yeah. And you know, you're from Blank Bangladesh, oof. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like, hang on, you know, you're supposed to be an Islamic country. Mm -hmm. um, not so much Cairo and Egypt, but Doha and living there. I mean, it was really very, yes. you know, they, they treated people very differently. And I didn't like that. No, no, no. It's uh, as I uh, in reality, I, I found out that it is all again uh, because of the scholars, you know, that uh, they haven't seen the the true side of Islam. Okay, and Islam has become a tradition for them. Many of them they don't follow it. Okay, I know that I was there, and uh, many of them don't even believe, but they just, you know, some of them they just pray and fast, but they don't believe just because of you know because of the parents and the society, they have to show that they're married. Well, this is what I said about, yeah, about Christmas. You know, we, um, I grew up tradition, you know, that this is what we did. This is what right. we do. And didn't, didn't, um, didn't um, Prophet Abraham, peace and blessings be upon him, wasn't it that, you know, his father was the idol maker and they just followed what their fathers did and what their fathers did yes, and yes, what yes. their fathers did. And yes, this yes. is what we're still doing. We're just following yes. what their exactly. fathers did, what their what our fathers did, what their fathers mm -hmm. you know, and it's like nobody is really waking up. Nobody is being courageous yes. and, and actually yes. coming up with some good, you know, debates, discussions, thinking mm -hmm. or or not only that, there are lots of dis debates and discussions, but is anybody actually being bold enough to sort of make a change in their yeah. life. Alhamdulillah, I'm doing. 
<laughs> okay. I'm there, Alhamdulillah, I'm doing good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm doing something a bit different. Yes. I, I, I went, I said that I don't believe in it because I didn't understand it. Yeah. So now when I have understood it, I'm, you know, I'm Muslim. And, Alhamdulillah. Uh, I, I, yes, Alhamdulillah. And, uh, I'm doing da'wah. Um, I question everything. I don't just follow blindly. Okay? No, no. Yeah. And this is, this is Islam. This is what yes, Islam is exactly. about. Yes. You know, that... so, yeah, so those people uh, have seen as well that, uh, you know, uh, partly it's also about because of this um, Bukhari, Bukhari and Muslim uh, hadiths, fabricated hadiths. I have a lot of discussion with these uh, people. Some people say, oh, you, it is like kufr when you say that they are fabricated. I see they are fabricated. When you say that anybody leave Islam, kill him, they become munafirun. I don't know if you know that, that word yeah, or not. Hypocrite. Yeah. They, they just lie that I'm a Muslim, but they are not. Okay. Like those people there. Okay. They are not Muslim. They, the, the, the guy goes to uh, Juma, he's praying, he's fasting, and he's discussing with me against Islam. I told him that, why you do this? Because of my parents, because of the society, you know? So leave them alone. There is no compulsion in religion. When you say kill them, then the guy is, uh, you know, is not a Muslim, but pretend to be Muslim. Many of them like that. So it's because of, you know, these actually, these scholars, they have damaged uh, the reputation of Islam a lot, okay? Yeah, yeah. I think, I think you've got to allow, like I said at the beginning, you've got to allow for some differences. Um, and I'm not saying by no means, you know, let's start a whole new little sub part of Islam, not at all. But I think you have to, you know, what about us newies that are coming into the religion? I mean, this is what the prophet was, was, was wanting, peace and blessings be upon him. You know, he went out into the world, you know, he, he had to had to go through wars yes. and conquer, you yes. know, um, to gain the Islamic states. Mm -hmm. um, people were not Muslims before, so they were all reverts. Mm -hmm. So you've got to allow the, and give patience, yes. you know, for people to, there's a lot as a newie to Islam. Yes. You know, I was I was frightened to, to even blink if I, you know, did I did I do something wrong? Is it, you know, it was a little bit overwhelming, you know, with 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 all of um, with all of the I don't want to say traditions because I don't think it is traditions, but with all of the customs that we, you know, the the, the prayers, the wudu, the you know, the the left hand, the right hand, the the, the you know, um, just you know the, the halal things that you can do, you can't do the foods, you know, the, the fasting, everything. It was just like, oh, you know, um, and I think you have to just be, be, be gentle and be mindful, yes, exactly. mm -hmm. you know, and don't judge people. Mm -hmm. Just, just, just welcome everybody. Mm -hmm. Just, yes, just yes. take a little step towards exactly. people, you yeah. know, just show them the best that you can be yeah. as, a, as a human, yes. you know, with, with, with this homing device that we have mm -hmm. and it, we've all got it. It's our heart. Yeah. Yes. You know, so, yes. I mean, yeah, I think uh, people just need to relax a little bit yes. and, and not be too judgmental. Yes, yes, exactly. Um, I mean, uh, uh, unfortunately, there, ha there has been many wrong teachings there yeah, from these, um, you know, backward extremist scholars. And uh, I've seen that most of uh, this uh, is from people of uh, developing countries you know because they they don't see much outside you know they don't meet other people you know that's why uh, uh, they they are very judgmental you know and uh, very extreme and when you say something they all they react very very hard okay i was yeah i mean i've been very blessed i've experienced the omani people they're beautiful people out there. They were very excited to see me and to hear that I was a Muslim. Um, I wasn't hijab then. Um, mm -hmm. So for them, you know, I was had my hair out and I was just a regular kind yes. of Muslim woman. And then, you know, they, I would say, Alhamdulillah. And they were like, oh, hang on, are you Muslim? You know, <laughs> they were very welcomed, you know, they welcomed me and they were very curious. And, and as I said, in, in Doha with the sisters, um, I was obviously didn't, didn't meet any of the men out there. Yeah. But the sisters out there were beautiful, you know, they were mm -hmm. so welcoming and so very yeah. warm. Yeah. Um, and my Cairo sisters, I can't, you know, 
um, be thankful enough. So, um, you know, I've ha I've had not a bad experience to be fair, but I know that there are some um, reverts out there who really struggle. Yes. Um, and actually sometimes they just don't want to be a Muslim anymore, which is really sad. Yes, they're really um, sad, yes, exactly. Um, but uh, inshallah, we can, you know, change this uh, situation and, uh, you know, atmosphere. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I mean, this, is, this is absolutely wrong. They have to understand that a lot of these uh, scholars, they are very extremist and they don't yeah. have to follow them. They don't have to listen to them. You what know? Do you, what, what's your take on Mufti Mink? Because um, Mufti was like a bridge for me. I mean, I really did learn a lot from Mufti, and I yes. and I and I get a sense that he gets a bit of a hard time. Mm -hmm. I have seen I have seen uh, good words from him, okay, but I I don't know exactly uh, if because unfortunately, as I said, uh, some of them maybe even don't believe that Bukhari is hundred percent, um, you know, Bukhari and Muslim are hundred percent authentic. Mm. But but they are afraid to say, okay, I don't know how about he, but for me, if he believed that they are 100%, uh, you know, authentic, then he's wrong, absolutely, because Islam never allow us to stone anybody to death, you know, Islam never allow us to kill an apostate, okay, uh, I mean, I, I read for this uh, so-called scholar as well that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to his own prophet that, you just invite people. Their account is upon us, okay? Mm. Their return is to us. Mm. So you have no right to judge them, okay? Yes, yes. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the best judge. We cannot, you know? This is, this is exactly what I like about Islam. Yes, I mean, uh, I will send you many, many verses, okay, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to his prophet that you just invite people. You have yeah. no right to judge them, okay? No. Because he can be, uh, you know, he can be wrong. Uh, any of us can be wrong, okay? Oh, there, are, there are many people who are executed in USA after being found guilty, but later, after several years or many years, they find out that, oh, the, the guy was actually innocent. You cannot change it back anymore. Mm -hmm. In Sweden, it's mm -hmm. such a great system. Uh, there was a nurse, he was eight years in jail for killing some patients. After eight years, they realized that no, he was innocent but he was in jail and he, they released him. They gave him 4 million Corona in compensation. So this is something that you can, at least you can apologize, but then you execute somebody. Yeah. It is, yeah. you are going to answer Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Exactly. Why you killed innocent person? So yeah. I would never ever execute anybody. No, we're not allowed. We're no, not allowed no absolutely not. Life. And no. then, and then sister, there is a, opportunity in Islam, repent opportunity for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not for me that haven't killed anybody. Mm -hmm. It's for the one who has killed somebody. Mm -hmm. And if he repent, Allah will forgive him. Mm -hmm. It's not about me, it's about him, okay? Mm -hmm. He may be forgive him, maybe he will punish him, okay? Yeah. But I cannot kill this person because he has killed somebody. The maximum I can do is I put him in jail, okay? Give him time to learn, to repent. Maybe he was 25 years, he didn't understand, like Muji, yeah? Like me, when I was 25, I didn't understand, okay? I said that no, God doesn't exist. Later, I realized that I was wrong. Mm -hmm. So maybe at that time, I killed somebody, okay? Because I was young, I didn't understand. I mean, uh, for example, those uh, people, uh, those drug dealers in Latin America, you know, they have tattoo everywhere, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah, gangs. If I was there, living there, you know, grow up there, I would be the same. Yeah. Then I, be? I would also go and kill without, I mean, for me, it would be very, very, you know, easy to kill people. So give them the opportunity that I had, okay, that I learned, I became, you know, a citizen that I'm, I cannot even harm an animal, okay? So, Give them the same opportunity like me, as I said, re remove the system that made them to do bad deeds. Get rid of this system. Let me read for you uh, something from uh, Ali Radiallah to his own uh, governor, mm. governor of Egypt. 1400 years ago, 
he, he was living 1400 years ago. And uh, look at what he write to his own governor in Egypt. He says that Malik, kindness, forgiveness, and loving the people should be your priority. Mm. And do not attack them uh, like a wild animal because people are two groups. One is those who are your brothers by religion and one those who are your brothers by creation. Mm. People do bad deeds because of different reasons, intentionally or by mistake. But you forgive them as you expect that your Lord, your God forgives your bad deeds. You are stronger than the people, but remember that the one who put you there is stronger than you and God is stronger than the one who put you there. No. Okay? This is, uh, and there are more, okay? Yes. Uh, the worst people for you must be those who try to reveal people's mistake and sins because people make mistakes and sins and the governor is the one who must cover them. Do not try to find out people's mistakes because your duty is to fix the problems that lead people to bad deeds and it is God's right to judge people, not yeah. yours. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Yes. Cover people's mistakes and sins as much as you can, as much as you can, so that God cover yours. Mm. Okay. Mm. See, he, put, he put him all the time on their plate. Say that, look, you also want somebody cover your mistakes, which is God. Okay. So you cover their mistakes. You have to fix the, the source, you know, and there are more such a beautiful words. Okay, Ali was the closest man to Prophet peace be upon him. Okay, mm. and you know, uh, when I read this and I read the Bukhari's hadith, okay, fabricated hadiths about Ali, you know, and about our Prophet, he described him as a bunch of savage people, barbarians, you know. Yes. You know, I don't know if uh, you have read such a thing. Uh, and uh, these people, I asked them that, come on, answer me. How can you say that these two people are the same? There is a hadith that says that uh, they brought eight people to Ali, uh, eight atheists. He burned them. And then the news came to somebody. I don't know. Uh, the hadith is here. I, I, I can find it for you. You know, and then he's that guy said that if it was me, I would kill them because Prophet Muhammad said that uh, don't punish people with the uh, punishment of Allah, which is fire. Okay, so I mean, you you think that Ali Radiallah didn't know what Prophet Muhammad said? That guy knew, but Ali Radiallah didn't know, and he's like this, he's such a person. And you say that he burned some people just because they were atheists, you know. <clears throat> there are so many, you know, unfortunately, so many rubbish they have put into, you know, I say that Islam is a diamond, that they have covered it with a lot of, you know, these people, yes. scholars in the past, they have covered it with their, you know, rubbish, and you have to just remove this to find that yes. true diamond, okay? Yes, yes, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yes, uh, so uh, I just wanted to, we were talking about this uh, Christmas and then we will finish it inshallah. We do <laughs> other other videos as well later and it's getting late as well. Yes, so, yes. Yeah, just just I would like to say that we don't have to listen to everybody who who's uh, you know sitting in some I don't know remote area and then say that oh Christmas is uh, this and that haram. Okay it is people's uh, belief and we have to respect it. Okay we have to just be kind and then um, we try to uh, say uh, about our religion, you know, like Dawa, but we respect their, their religion. Their judgment is upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not us at all. Okay. We cannot judge them, okay? Exactly, no, absolutely. I think and yeah. I say Merry Christmas to everybody. <laughs> I see them. <laughs> Merry Christmas to my, my, and my wife's uh, relatives as well. I tell them and uh, we uh, celebrate it with them. 
and uh, so on. So it is uh, nothing wrong with that to be pleasant and uh, you know peaceful and nice to people. I think I think that's what it is. I think I think it's what's in your heart, what's in your intentions. Yes. You know, as long as you don't believe in the celebration. Yes, exactly. As long as you don't believe. As long as you don't believe that you have an empty heart. You know, you don't have any attachments. Yes. The day. Um, uh, and and your and your you know like I said at the beginning you've got the knowledge you know what the history is you know from the Islamic point of view you know yes. what it's about then that's mm -hmm. so, for me it's okay yes and Allah says himself that your religion is for you my religion is for me okay exactly. to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him say tell them that your religion is for you my religion is for me yeah, okay exactly. just respect them okay exactly. you just invite them you just invite them to Islam. Let them, let them decide themselves, and their judgment is with uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not us. Exactly, and, and we know who the biggest, you know, uh, villain is, and it's the society yes. that, that's, you know, sucking everybody in. Yeah. And, you know, making them delusioned. Exactly. To what the day is all about, and I think that's what, where I'm coming from. That's the kind of edge that I feel around Christmas. Yes. Um, and that's it, you know, I'm not going to tell my family you know, don't 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 talk about Christmas when I'm when I'm around, or mm -hmm. don't invite no, me. No, no, no. Okay, I tell them that alcohol is bad mm. because uh, it is poison. Okay, we know this is uh, you know scientifically uh, proven mm -hmm. that it is poison. Mm -hmm. yeah, but not to celebrate Christmas is uh, doesn't harm anybody. Okay, I don't like either this so much as we said also. You know, presents. You know, to, because this is uh, from that system, that capitalist system that you have to buy, buy. You know, because they have to, and they create more. They create this uh, Halloween. We didn't have Halloween here in Sweden yes, ten years ago. Now it has become so big. Yes, this is what I'm thinking. Actually, yes. I think you should say that because I've been out of my school. I'm a teacher, so I've been out of the school system here in the UK for about ten years, mm -hmm. and now I've just come back. And I can't believe how much Christmas has exploded in mm -hmm. the school. Yes. Before, we, it was the complete opposite 10 years ago when I left. We were never allowed to mention Christmas. Mm -hmm. and, and back then it upset me because I thought, but, but I, I, I love Christmas. Why can't I do something about Christmas at school? But we were not allowed. Mm -hmm. Now, this is where I'm thinking, you know, the Satan has, has come in uh, in big time over these 10 years. Yes. And is really coming down on us, yeah. you know, because Christmas is explosive now. It's yeah. absolutely in your face everywhere. And I thought about that. And Halloween. Halloween, yeah. Where did this all come from? It's like, it never used to be like this. It, was from, it came from USA. They made it big. <laughs> but that's no, what I'm saying. But why? But why the, is... The head of capitalism. <laughs> exactly. It's the all of in. And then, you know, the Valentines is coming. Exactly, down. yes, yes. Oh, the Easter yes. Bunny and all yeah, kinds yeah. of nonsense. They have to sell their products somehow. So they, they have to create such a things to, you know, to ex exploit people. And they sit it on the religion, you know. They yeah. sit yes, it on, exactly. And, that's, and that's, it's really bad. It's very, mm -hmm. very bad. But, yeah. you know, we respect everybody. And yes, the, exactly. You know, just be mindful about it. And yeah. that's, that's all you can do. Yes, exactly. That's okay, you, you can advise them, like, uh, um, don't buy so much presence yeah, no, it is it yeah like this you can ad advise them but not yeah. oh don't celebrate or oh, it is haram or such a thing no, no, you can't, <laughs> not at you all. can't. You can't no. take that away from them yes. but i mean i i don't have um and i stopped and it was very i was very fortunate actually christmas kind of fell away from me mm -hmm. over the years um and it was like even before i became a muslim and i'm really grateful for that because for some converts reverts, newies, whatever you want to call us. Um, I yes. call myself a newie. Um, I, I, I just, uh, sorry, I interrupt you. I yeah. say to myself always convert yeah, myself I don't because know. I don't believe in revert. No. Because, because I believe that we are not born to a way of life. Islam is an economy system. Islam is a political system, uh, a way of life. You cannot be born to such a thing. You cannot be born to a political party. It's, yeah. Islam is like that as well, okay? It's, Islam is here to take us to a better world, to guide us to a better world. Yeah. A political party is the same, says that, oh, you, I will fix your uh, you know, problems, we will do this, we will do that. It is the same uh, Islam as well. So you cannot be born to a political party. You cannot say that uh -huh. I was born as a Muslim, okay? So uh, in reality, uh, I always say convert. I converted to Islam 
because I found this as the way out of our problems on this planet. I, I say I say I was I I was born. It almost feels like for me a birth. Yes. Um, because I feel like I've transformed. I feel like I've literally, you know, shed the old and yes. I'm a new. Yes, so I call myself a, a newbie, a new, a new Muslim. That's that's correct. That's correct. You know, because um, in, in, we have it in Islam as well. Uh, <clears throat> the the time that you change, okay, we mm. call it qadr, okay. Yeah. Uh, qadr is uh, when the point which you change. Yeah. You have a different life, okay. Yeah. And the, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says that that time, that fraction of time is mm. equivalent to the to a thousand month a mm. thousand arabic month yeah. if you uh, you know if you calculate it is around 80 years an mm. average of human life yeah. so that fraction of time that you change is like an entire life mm. so it's like as you say a newborn okay yeah. yes but uh, that you was born like a baby when you were born <laughs> You know, uh, you you are born to to Islam. That's uh, it's a little bit uh, not correct. I, I I think you have to choose it. You have to grow up, learn it, understand it. You know, because my son, for example, he's twelve. He asked me, "What am I?" I say, "It's too early for you. You have to grow up. You have to learn. Even eighteen is too early for you." Because I was twenty-five, I didn't understand it. Okay. Yeah. So when you grow up, you become older. Then you decide. I will teach you. Yes, but. You decided later. I cannot tell you you are a Muslim <laughs> because you don't understand everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's why um, I tell you, okay, you, you don't eat pork, you don't drink alcohol. These things I teach him that he doesn't do that. But <clears throat> to say that I'm a Muslim, it's a little bit too early for them. Okay. Mm. So that's yeah. why I try to to teach, teach them Islam, and that I say that when you grow up older, then you will learn and you understand it yourself. You choose it yourself. Mm. Not that I, you know, like our parents put it, put it in us, then I don't want to do that. I want that he decide himself, he learn it himself, mm. and he decide himself. Yeah, I never, I never pushed anything into my kids. I mean, obviously, yeah. I didn't really have yes. any religion anyway, but um, again, it was society that says, you know, you have to christen your children. Yeah. And, um, and my sister, Chris, my sisters christened their children because that's what you do. Yeah, yeah. I said, well, I didn't even feel that no. that was the right thing to do. Because exactly. I didn't have any faith. I didn't know what or who God was. So, um, you know, my children have had the choice, but yes. unfortunately they choose not to believe and they don't really allow me to get how they old they are? Anywhere close. Oh, they've grown up now. They're, they're in 30, 29. 29. 20, yeah, in 25. So, you know, I always. Like, inshallah, inshallah uh, one day I would like to talk to them and try. <laughs> you know, inshallah. Yeah, inshallah. I mean, I, I always pray. I pray for them all the time. And I, I just try, you know, try my best. And it's, mm -hmm. it's difficult because. You know, I, I, I'm going through that transformation. You know, yes, I'm not sister, the old. Let me you know, please, new. Yeah, tell you something. That Islam is simple. Do you want to live in this jungle or you want to get out of this jungle and live in a human world? If exactly. you want to do that, if you want to do that, the way is Islam, okay? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the only way. If you have a better way, okay, I will follow that. Yeah, but, yeah, that's what I said. I mean, I did a little video today and I said that. I said, I just, I just... I feel like I, because I have the truth, I want everybody to be. Yes. I want everybody to know and have a chance of of, yes, what, yes. of what I had, you know, a chance to feel the peace, a chance mm -hmm. to to step out of society, and it goes back to society again, doesn't it? That's putting the pressure. I mean, my my kids are always stressed out. You know, mm -hmm. they're always having anxiety and you know worry and this, that, and the other. And I just. You know, and I know they're at that age where they have to get on with their careers and everything, but um, I just feel for them. I really do. It's tough. It's, yes. tough. it's really tough. And when you don't have religion, society is just getting tougher. And if you don't have anything to to hang it on, I, I'm sorry for them. Yes, yes. I'm sorry for them. Then you you can go to wrong ways as well when you don't have an aim. You know. Of course. 
course, of course. Yeah, when you don't have an aim, then you can go wrong because you just want to live yeah. the life and you want to be happy, you know, yeah. have fun. Then you can go anywhere. You can go use drugs and uh, or alcohol or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know, Such a waste because, you know, yes, uh, it was very nice talking to you, sister. I know, we could probably talk all night. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Inshallah, we will talk more. Uh, it would be time. lovely. It's been a pleasure. It's been really yeah. nice to meet Thank you, you, actually. The, the same for me as well. Yeah, so, yeah, it's been really Inshallah, lovely. we talk um, more and uh, say Merry Christmas to your family as well. <laughs> <from here. laughs> um, but I've kind of avoided it, actually. I've kind yeah. of avoided it. No, do it, sister, say it. Don't, don't worry. Because, I mean, I will because, yes. it's, you know, it's Believe not... Me. Believe me, it is, uh, you know, it's much better than not saying it. Okay? No, of course. I mean, I'm saying, you know, you have much a good... Much nicer. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I want to spread, I want to spread this as well to, if you can also to other uh, converted, inshallah, so that they know that no, Islam is not that, uh, you know, uh, that these uh, people say that, oh, you do it's haram and so on. No, it is not like that. No, no, okay? I think, I think... Uh, just, just be kind to people. Yeah, just be you know? kind, exactly. Yeah, be kind to people and respect them, okay? Mm -hmm. Their judgment is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You just, exactly. your duty is to invite them to Islam, that's all, okay? That's it. that's tell it. them basic, tell them basic, okay? Yeah. yeah. Not uh, that they have to go become uh, <clears throat> a scholar right away, <laughs> you know, exactly. deep or every single verse of Quran, the basic, okay? That yeah. Islam is peace. Islam is trying to change the, the world to a better place to live. That's mm, all. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. All right, sister. Inshallah, we get in touch. Thank <laughs> you. Right. And good Thank night. Assalamu alaikum. Good Salam. night. Salam. Thank right. you so much. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.